Hey guys, and welcome back to Fallout 4. Last time we left off, we uh, rescued Mr. Nick Valentine, Mr. Detective, who may or may not have an idea of where my baby boy is. And we were going to sit down and talk to him. So, without further ado, let's just do it. Oh, uh, before I do that, I just want to say that I, uh, I went back to Sanctuary and I dropped off a whole bunch of crap. I also made Maltita 3.0. She's beautiful, fantastic. She's got a long barrel and a long magazine, and I don't really know the specifics of it, so. <laughs> it's just much better than Maltita 2.0. So, I got that, and it's all good. Let's sit and have a chat. I can't do a power armor. I went, I went and got power armor specifically for this. Damn it, all right, give me a second. Guys, don't don't look, I'm about to undress, okay? Could you could, could you just turn around? Th thank you, thank you, Nick. Just, just don't look. Don't look! Don't look, I'm naked! Why does it keep taking my hat off? You know what? I put this fedora on for a reason. Damn it. Where is it? There we go. Me and my fedora, which I sh <laughs> See, if you wear this, you have to go, my lady. <laughs> I know I'm terrible. I'm terrible. Let's just sit before I embarrass myself even more. You're trying to find someone who's gone missing. The devil is in the details. Tell me everything you can, no matter how painful it might be. Oh, goodness. Um, let's describe Sean. We're looking for my son, Sean. He's less than a year old. Why would anyone take him? Good question. Why your family in particular? Why an infant? Someone would be taking on all of his care, and a baby needs a lot of it. What else can you tell me? Um, well, I can tell you about the time that my wife got brutally shot in the face. My wife was murdered. She was trying to keep them from taking Sean, and they, they just... It's okay. You don't need to say anything more. So, we're talking about a group of cold-hearted killers. They waited until something went wrong to resort to violence. Well, that confirms it. This isn't a random kidnapping. Whoever took your kid had an agenda. Hmm. There's a lot of groups in the Commonwealth that take people. Raiders, super mutants, the gunners. And of course, there's the Institute. Huh. Well, they looked like raiders. It could be the Institute, because I have no idea what the hell that is. Um, it definitely wasn't Super Mutants. I, th I think it might have been Raiders. Or it could have been Gunners, too. Oh, no. Oh, I don't know. Let's try... Let's try Raiders. You think Raiders might have done this? <laughs> I honestly doubt it. They can barely organize themselves, let alone pull off something this complicated. All right. Well, how about Gunners, then? Who were the Gunners? High-end mercenaries. No job too brutal. They're in the running as likely suspects. They wouldn't be the ones pulling the strings. All right, well, the Institute. So you think this Institute is responsible? Well, they're the boogeymen of the Commonwealth. Something goes wrong, everyone blames them. Easy to see why. Those early model synths of theirs strip whole towns for parts, killing everything in their way. Then you got the newer models, good as human, that infiltrate cities and pull strings from the shadows. Huh. Worst of all, no one knows why they do it, what their plan is, where they are, not even me. And I'm a synth myself. A discarded prototype, anyway. Well, I mean, you, you act a lot better than the rest of the robots around this place, so... Um... You're a prototype? I'm actually kind of curious about you're it. You're a prototype? As far as I know. Never seen any other synth like myself. There's the older ones that are dumb as rocks and all metal. And there's the newer ones that are almost human. I'm somewhere in between. You were a test project. Um, so you're one of them? No, I'm not going to push that. It might actually piss him off. So, uh, finding Sean. Either way, I need to find Sean. You're right. The speculation is getting us off track. Let's focus on what you saw. What did these kidnappers look like? They look like bad people. Um, God, I don't remember. It's actually been super long since the beginning of the game. 
Um, describe the outfits, I guess. The woman was dressed in, um, I think it was a kind of hazard suit. The man had some sort of metal brace on his arm. Maybe some kind of improvised armor? A lot of hired guns do that to look tough. The hazard suit is interesting. Not many mercs can afford something that fancy. What else do you remember about them? Uh, he was bald and scarred, I guess. One of them came right up to me. Bald head, scar across his left eye. Wait, it couldn't be. You didn't hear the name Kellogg at all, did you? Kellogg? I, I really don't know. Um, let me question Mark that. Who is he? Do you think he has Sean? Hmm. It's way too big of a coincidence. Ellie, what notes do we have about the Kellogg case? The description matches. Bald head, scar, reputation for dangerous mercenary work, but no one knows who his employer is. And he bought a house here in town, right? And he had a kid with him, didn't he? Yeah, that's right. The house in the abandoned West Stands. Uh, the boy with him was around 10 years old. Oh. Uh, another kidnapped kid? It's not Sean. It's Sean. It, it could be Sean. Because it's... Uh, we were asleep for like a good 200 years, but he stole us and then, or he stole Sean and then put us back to sleep. So it could be. Um, shit, I don't know. Got an odd look on your face. Look, Ellie, I'm thinking, all right? <laughs> just give me a second here. Um, I don't know. I guess I'll just say it's Sean. It's Sean. It has to be. Somehow. Don't jump the gun on me. You said you were looking for an infant, remember? That's over nine years difference by my count. Well, Look, yeah, maybe but... he has a son of his own. Maybe it's someone else's kid. Either way, they both vanished a while back. Let's you and I take a walk over to Kellogg's last known address. See if we can snoop out where he went. Security doesn't really go to that part of town, but you two should still be careful. I always am. Yeah, I think we'll be all right. I've got, I'm, I'm a walking arsenal, so. And plus I got this bad boy. Oh, duck me. Are you all right? Be spazzing out there for a second. All right, Nick, let's go. Fedora bros, we're on it. Come on, yep, come on, come on. Nick. Hey, Valentine. Come on, Kellogg's house ain't far. Well, let's go. There's the door, open it. Walk through. You're a robot, I know. You can figure it out. There you go. Good job. Good lord. <laughs> Uh-oh. Huh. Open. Open the door. I don't want to be in here forever. I gotta find my baby boy. My daughter, baby. All right, man. Oh, God. Please walk faster. Uh, I didn't want Ellie to hear this, but I think you should know. Everything I dug up about Kellogg before his disappearance, bad news. Is he's it? more than just a mercenary. He's a professional. Quick, clean, thorough. Has no enemies, because they're all dead. Except you. But nine to one odds says he's our man. It's more than just you identifying his distinguishing features. The M.O. is all him as well. Hmm. Leading a small team to kidnap a baby and leaving one of the parents alive for later? Not many mercs in the Commonwealth can pull that off. He may not have known that I was related to the baby. Or maybe he did. I don't know. Are we there yet? You walk so slow. Ugh, come on, Nick. You're a robot. You can, you can walk faster than this. Oh, I pushed him. <laughs> come on, man. Are you, are you going in? Ch shall I knock? Keep an eye out, will you? See if I can get this open. Okay. I'll see you, buddy. Are we good? Are we good, dog meat? One heck of a lock. Something to hide, Kellogg? Why Look, just break it. Try? No, you just, just break it open. What's wrong with you? Again, you're a robot. You could just rip this door off if you wanted to. What's wrong with you? Don't look at me with those creepy ass door. eyes. Don't think I can pick this. I can't. It's too difficult. Nick. Stubborn lock, ain't it? Uh-huh. No luck? Guess we'll need to find the key. Well, if my lock picking what shit? See that platform in the distance near the city entrance? Uh-huh. That's the elevator to the mayor's office. 
Why don't you go ask around there? I'll stay here and see if I can jimmy this lock. I know this elevator. I've ridden it many a time. Oh, look, it's coming down for me automatically. Great. Hup. Oh, why can't I jump? Oh, it's the Y button. <laughs> no fall damage, remember? Whee! Brilliant. Brilliant. Dog meat's gonna have to take the stairs, but it's fine. Or he'll just teleport to me because he's fucking magic. Boop. Come on, dog meat. Teleport to me, son. It's all right. I know you can. He'll pop up here in a second. Oh, let's wait for it. Wait for it. Okay, maybe not. Dog meat. Dog meat. Dog meat, please. Teleport to me. Dog meat. Dog meat, no, I love you. Oh, oh not this lady. I bet if I said I was with the Institute, Ugh. come running. Do you ever think maybe you could get a man's attention easier if you use softer words, honey? Oh, snap. Maybe shout a little less. Oh, that reminds me of this article I'm writing about the mayor's affair with oh. a certain airhead blonde. Oh, look who it is. What brings you to the mayor's office, huh? None of your business. Yeah, you first. What are you doing here, Piper? Nah. -uh. Damn it. Not until it's in print. You can read all about it in the next issue. If you are uh -huh. crowding the reception area, Miss Piper, the mayor needs to make time for more responsible citizens. Oh shit. <laughs> I was just leaving anyway. Oh shit. You just gonna take that? You just gonna take that and walk off. Most all folks right. are just looking for a hand. I don't the like mayor's that lady receiving anyway. visitors as long as they aren't members of the press. Did you need help? I do. Um I yeah, I just need to see the mayor. So I can just head in and talk to McDonough? Go right ahead. His office is open. He likes to make time for everyone when he can. Also, yeah, she doesn't hey, you even know the paper, I'm here. right? What? You're 200 years old? Uh-huh. Looking pretty good for your age, huh? Yep. <laughs> How many times anybody can oh, make that joke? Yes. I remember you, our new arrival. Uh -huh. I wish I was in your shoes, getting to see our glorious city for the first time. How can I help you? I want to find my baby boy. Just give him to me. Is he under your hat? <laughs> Probably. Um, Nick sent me. Nick Valentine wanted me to see you. Did he now? Some investigation, I assume? I'm trying you to be a little vague. You two are trying vague. to get me into hot water now, are you? <laughs> uh, Kellogg's house. A man named Kellogg used to live in this city. I need to search his house. I see. Well, whatever reasons you have, I take my citizens' privacy very seriously. Even after they've left. I can't allow you to invade someone else's home. That's all there is to it. Well, look. He's a kidnapper, and I'm not even going to try that because I'm going to fail it. So, oh, if I try to bribe him, he's just probably going to get pissy. Um, should I? I kind of want to be a little scumbag about it. Huh? I understand. You have rules. Maybe for the right amount, you can oh, bend no. them a bit. What? No, How no. How dare you? I'm a mayor, for God's sake, not some thug for hire. No, oh, no. I'm sorry. So that's it? So that's it? <laughs> You're not going to help? Security is part of what keeps Diamond City above the petty squabbles and misfortunes of the Commonwealth. I can't betray that for anything. Eh, whatever. You're full of it. Thanks for nothing. Fine. Thanks for nothing. I know it's disappointing, but I have to think of all the people of Diamond City, not just the needs of one person. Hey. My baby boy is missing. And I'm going to repeat that over and over. As long as it keeps raining on my face weirdly. Oh, no, it stopped. <laughs> Look, buddy. I need... Oh, maybe she can get it. Maybe I can trick her into it? Madam. Did you need something else? House keys. Who do I talk to if I need to find a key to a house that's been locked up? If you're talking about a property that the city has seized, we only have one on the books. Mr. Kellogg's old house. Yep. You'd have to ask the mayor directly if you want the keys. Shit. Um, it's urgent. I don't have time. I need that key now. Why is finding this key so important to you, honey? That's hard to find my baby boy. Please. All I want to do is find my son. The man who owned that house kidnapped him. I've heard the sob Damn stories it. before, so save them. 
Ugh, I need my... Ugh. Ugh. Never mind. Never mind. Thanks for nothing. Have a nice day. Bitch. <laughs> Alright, fine. Can I level up? What's my charisma? I need more. Convince others. Yeah, we're, we're putting it in here. I need all the charisma. Cat collector. Lady killer. You're charming dangerous. Women suffer plus 5% damage and are easier to persuade. Alright. Who needs friends anyway? Okay. A faithful canine companion can hold an enemy, giving you blah, blah, blah. I need... I'm just going to put them both in charisma, because I need to be able to talk to people. And this shit ain't happening. So, can I try her again? Geneva. I'm sorry, but you're not getting that key from me. Why do you want it so badly anyway? My baby. I need my baby boy. Please. All I want to do is find my son. The man who owned that house kidnapped him. I've heard the sob Damn stories before. Damn right, fine. Never mind. Thanks for nothing. Have a nice day. I could probably bribe her, but... Ooh. Holy shit. Ugh. Now that is some armor. Mayor McDonough? Back about this key business, I assume. I'm... He's a kidnapper. Please, Mayor McDonough. This man Kellogg kidnapped my son. I need to find him. Please. Damn it. Damn it all. I see. I'm sorry, but however horrible the crimes this Mr. Kellogg may have committed, your word alone isn't hard evidence. <laughs> Fine. Thanks for nothing. I know it. Yeah, yeah, shut up. All right. My last option is to bribe her, and if it doesn't work, hey, Geneva. I don't know what to do. Still looking for that key? What's so important about it? Let's see if I can bribe her. Maybe we can reach an agreement? I just happen to have a pile of caps here. A gift? For me? Oh, how generous. Oh, there I go again, leaving a key oh, on yes. my desk and forgetting to put it back. Now a swatter. Oh, thank God, she's real, real sleazy. No, I don't want to steal Talk it. To Take Mo the Kellogg house key. Thank Look you. <laughs> Bye. Come on, dogmeat. We need to get out of here. Oh, goodness. All right. I tried to do it legit, you all saw. I tried not to be a scumbag, but they wouldn't let me. So there. <laughs> oh, goodness. Such is the way of Fallout. Are you all right, buddy? You doing okay? I hope so. Huh. Some boids. Come yeah, on. Let's go. Gonna move on. Go. Please. Thank you. So how do I get back to his house without... Back this way, I think. I should really just take my power armor off. I don't need it. <laughs> nice hack. Not at the moment, anyway. Here we go. Nick! Nick, I'm back! I'm back with the key. And you're glowing. Um, What are you smoking? Got you're a robot! Key. What do you need to smoke All for? Right. Let's head in. You do the honors. All right. Boom. Let's do it. Let's take a look around. Kellogg must have left something behind. Well, easy there, killer. I just got in here. Take that hot plate. Uh, Bobby Hammer. I don't really need. I will take this desk fan. Though. Place seems small to you. Take... Yeah, a little a guy bit. Like Kellogg would think big. Looks a little empty too. Anything? It's got some handcuffs. Anything in the? Uh, nothing here. Corn. Check out that desk. Duct tape. Cover pot. There's nothing in it. Or I can't look in it. It won't let me. What about here? I'm telling you, something's not right. Look for anything out of sorts. Oh, a switch. switch. Hold on. A button. I don't. Maybe here. I don't see anything. Maybe on the wall. Button. Secret passage. Where are you? There's wires all over the place. Did you find anything, Nick? Oh, here we go. Boop. Well, that's one way to hide a room. Oh, neat. Galway duck me. Ooh. Ooh. 
got all sorts of stuff. I will take all of his things. Thank you very much. Purified water. Holy crap. Dirty water. I mean, I'm still taking it. Fusion core. Oh my god. Oh, I'm so happy we came in Look here. Look at this. All of a merc's favorite thing. Oh, oh. That scared the hell out of me. <laughs> I didn't realize there was mannequin in here. That. Take some pork and beans. Nuke and cherry. I know, I know. I'm supposed to be looking for stuff for my son, but there, there's stuff. So what's this? What you got? Cigar box. Gwyneth Stout beer, 44 caliber bullets, and cigars. San Francisco Sunlights. Hmm, interesting brand. Won't lead us anywhere on its own, though. Hmm. So, do you have... Uh, oh, I can use dog meat, yeah. I wonder if dog meat could pick up the scent. Say, that's not a bad idea. Some dogs out there in the Commonwealth can track a man for miles. Well, Silent dog Mark. meat seems eager for the job. Why don't you let him have a whiff? See if he picks up on the trail. Uh, before you head out, uh, I know this is personal business. If you have to face Kellogg on your own, just say so. No, I'd like a... Um... Yeah, no, because if I make him come with me, I'm going to lose dog meat, right? Uh, maybe I can just put him on as a companion and then switch. I want you with me on this, Nick. All right. Well, let's get that bastard. This is your show from here on out, okay? You say jump, I'll say how high. You better jump to the moon because, again, you're a robot. <laughs> hey, buddy. Dog I'm gonna meat. Shove this, uh, get the scent, boy. This cigar up your nose. Um. Did you get the scent? Got something, boy? Did you get it? Yeah. All right, following you. Go ahead. Uh, is he at this corner? Is he at this corner, boy? No? Come on, you can do it. Are we leaving? Should we leave?